Hello, my name is Anne, and this little bundle of warm, cuddling stuff is Toby. Toby and I are cold today. Aren't we, Tob? Are we cold? It's freezing out. Well, <clears throat> I shouldn't really say that because I live in Canada, and uh, I think it's minus four today. And today is Tuesday, November 23rd, one week to my birthday. And um, this is episode 77. Can you believe that? Episode 77? Wow, where's the time gone? Um, so anyway, if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Um, this is where I usually wrap it away about my knitting and crochet uh, and my quilting and cross stitch which I try to split up so it's not such a long video. So today it's knitting and crochet. However, you know, we all know what I'm going to say next. I haven't done any crochet. <laughs> I just haven't had time. Um, and it's crochet's kind of just like really not doing it for me right now. Anybody else find that? You go through stages where one minute you're all into knitting and then then the next minute you kind of, eh, and then you're all into crochet, and then the next minute you, eh, and then you're back into knitting. Well, anyway, that's me. That's how I get on. And so I haven't really done any crochet, but I have been working on two knitting projects at the moment. So I will show you those. Now, the first one in my Netherwood bag um, is the jelly roll blanket and this is a k jones of the bakery bears blanket so i'm just making this a small blanket probably end up being a baby blanket because we all know i've got plenty of them coming uh, oh no for me <laughs> grandchildren um so here is how it looks so far i've done three so you do it in strips um, and this is the latest strip that I am working on, which after some great feedback, which thank you, I decided to do the stripes and I really am liking them. I think they're looking awesome. So I am working on stripes. This yarn I had used for some socks for my daughter-in-law. Um, and they are the, I think they're the Hufflepuff colors. I think so um, <clears throat> anyway because uh, they like Harry Potter so here is how it looks um, so far so here is the bottom so you start at the bottom and you literally and why I like this particular pattern from Kay Jones is that you've only got so many stitches on the needle and um, so I actually used a DPN and stuck a uh, one of them thingies uh tip whatever's on the end <laughs> so i'm just using it like a small needle uh 2.75 and um and then you do your whole row and you change your colors or your strips you know you can stagger them you can make them the same what i have tried to do in all of mine is I'm trying to do one white and make it sort of like where it fin ends, it finishes. So when I obviously when I get here on this row, then that will be then white to probably there. And I'm just trying to make it just like a real jelly roll blanket would be if you were quilting it where you've got sort of a pen. But anyway, it's 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 coming out. And this is my car knitting. So if you don't know, I don't drive. And um, I just can't drive, period. And so, um, but I'm, and I'm not really a 100% brilliant uh, passenger or in the car. So um, I'm always a bit uncomfy, you know. Um, <clears throat> unless I'm with my son. He actually is the best driver in the whole wide world, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, um, so I... Uh, knit in the car so that I'm not aware of you know what's going on around me and cars breaking and ditches getting closer because my husband's shiny objecting on the other side of the road and all that kind of stuff and uh so 
that's my car knitting usually it's socks but as I say this blanket is fabulous because it's only a small amount on the needle and it's using sock yarn so you know so that's that then the other thing I am working on and like miles behind everybody's finished and I'm still not even finished mine I think I'm on week three um, in my um, craft house magic bag <laughs> You can get lots in this bag. This is a lovely bag and it's all hand embroidered and stuff. Well, machine embroidered, I should say, by Ellie of Craft House Magic. Um, if you don't watch her channel, she's a fabulous channel. And Ellie, congratulations once again on the birth of your little boy. So excited for you. So in here is my shawlology and it's coming on really well. And funny story, let me try and unravel it for you. So here is how it is. It's kind of hard to see on here because obviously there's like 400 odd stitches. And it'll look so much nicer when it's all done. But so here's the funny story. I'm working on brioche. And I did remember learning brioche ages ago in my knit club. So that's the one side and that's the other side. So one side, you can see that the, see if I can do it like that. One side, it's the white is the main and the other side, it's the other color, the peach. And I always thought brioche was really, really hard. And I've always shied away from it because so many people you know, moan or complain about it and they don't seem to like it. And I was terrified and I did try it the one time, like I said, at my knit club. And I don't know if the pattern I was following or the instructions or the directions that were given, I understood. Cause I don't think, I don't remember it doing this. And this is from um, obviously the Stephen West pattern. It's the Shawlology pattern. And uh, I'm really actually very much enjoying it. And I'm not finding it hard at all, which kind of blows my mind. So I thought I'd show you how I do my brioche. Okay, so here is how I do my brioche. I have already started it um, just to get myself going so I know what I'm doing. So when you start your row, you have both colors at the same end. But we're only going to use the one color, first of all, to go all the way across the 423 stitches I have on this needle. A brioche stitch, if you don't know, is just, it's like, it, it's this. It's a stitch, a slip stitch with a jacket. That's how uh, Stephen West explains it, a slip stitch with a jacket. And I'll show you how to do that. So here is the stitch I'm going to slip. So I'm going to bring my yarn over and I'm going to slip this off. And now this is the Brio stitch here, which is the slip with the, the yarn over from the previous row. And I'm going to knit those two together. And as I pull my yarn across to knit, you can see I'm now creating a jacket for that slip stitch. So yarn over, slip the stitch, knit them together, creating the jacket on the slip stitch. Yarn over, slip, knit. Yarn over, slip, knit. So you've always got a slip stitch, uh, a knit stitch and a slip stitch with a jacket. Yarn out forward, slip, knit those two together. And that's how you do brioche. Then when I've got all the way to the end here, what I'm going to do then is slide all the stitches back because then I need to work this color. And we're going to go back and do the same thing but using a pearl brioche. And a pearl brioche is basically, I'm not going to show it you, but you would slip the same way. But then 
you would bring your yarn so creating the jacket bring your yarn all the way around the front again and do the purl but of course I don't want to do that because I'm still doing my knit where did it go here I'm still doing my knits so that is how you do brioche it's really very interesting and then it gives you this gorgeous pattern where one side you have one color and the other is that. And it's very squishy. So there you go. That's how I do my brioche. Okay, so what did you think of that? I hope you <laughs> could understand it and all my technical terms, jackets, stuff. Anyway. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are not a subscriber and drop me some notes of kindness below. I'd love to hear from you and find out how you like brioche. Okay, talk to you soon. Thursday, cross stitch quilting. Bye.